we chose five recipes out of our sports nutrition cookbook to go over with you on what is going to fuel you for an entire day. Do you really want to try hoping. this? We're going to go through what you would have for breakfast, what you would have for a snack, what you'd have for lunch, what you would have for dinner in order to get your body ready to crush hard and then to crush hard and then to restore so you can crush hard again the next day. And it will all be delicious, I promise you that. Hi friends, welcome back to Cookout. I'm Chef Maria Hines and we're talking about nutrition today. And in order for us to do this properly, I am bringing in an expert, Mercedes Pohlmeyer, and she's gonna tell us all about nutrition and we're gonna have some delicious dishes to go along with it. Let's get started. Every part of my life of all of our lives, food touches. I'm Chef Maria Hines, and on the show, we're going to explore how to make food taste mind-blowingly delicious, nutrition, celebrating the great outdoors, the impact that food has on the planet, our bodies, and our communities. We're gonna go on this journey together, we're gonna learn, we're gonna cook, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Mercedes is a co-author of our book here, Peak Nutrition. It's a comprehensive sports nutrition cookbook for the mountain athlete. There wasn't one that existed. And Mercedes and I, we were on uh, a climbing trip actually out here. And I was asking her all of these questions about nutrition because I, my body fails me. And so anything that I can do to not have my body fail me when I'm trying to work really hard um, I, I would love to have that edge. Mercedes has a master's in human movement. She is a certified nutrition coach through Precision Nutrition. She runs her own company, uh, Modus Athletica, and does personal training. Mercedes has all of the knowledge that I'm so excited to tap into today. If I went to Boulder really hard today, what is the nutritional protocol in order for me to do that? Start off your day with a solid meal, you know? Start with some protein, carbs, some fat, whole nutritious, nutrient-dense foods that can actually sustain you through the whole day. And then fueling as you're doing the activity and then finishing off the day with a really bomber meal. What is the, the fat good for? What's the carb good for? And what's the protein good for? Fat is the nutrient, uh, the calorie-dense food that we want to sustain us for kind of like the long haul. It's giving the foundation of energy through the day, which is why we don't need too much because it's very calorie uh, dense. So carbohydrates are gonna be kind of like the, the key to all energy that we need for activity. And you wanna get a, like a substantial amount of carbs when you're eating your meal. They also help to spare protein, which means that uh, protein is being used to repair our muscle and not for energy. So as athletes, that's really important that we actually don't use protein as an energy source. It really needs to be there to help us repair it and recover and essentially like maintain our muscle mass. A good way to go about it is actually just using your hand as a form of measuring. So like for women, you can use your palm. So that would be like the thickness and the, the size of your palm, that would be uh, your protein. So you could do one to two palms of protein. And then for carbs, you can actually just use your hand like a cup full of uh, either starchy or slow digesting carbohydrate. And you can also do two if you want. And you could include vegetables as part of that as well. Vegetables are gonna be important. They should always be on your plate, vegetables and fruit. And then the thumb will be your, your fat. This is the amount of fat that we'll use to either cook our food, um, or maybe you can supplement with nuts or maybe some cheese or something like that. You're always gonna have it on hand, pun intended. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's gonna be a really simple way to measure out your food. And for men, you're gonna basically double all of those portion sizes. But we wanna keep it as simple as possible. So I would say start off with breakfast. That could be an hour or two after waking up. You know, you have your carbs, fat, and protein. If you got to the boulders at 10 o'clock, then maybe you start to eat at around 11.30. You eat something small, like a snack that has protein and carbohydrate. And then maybe every hour or two after that, you should eat nutritious, delicious meals. Eat good food, you know, when you're out they're doing the thing you love to do. So we're gonna start out with breakfast items. 
So what we have right here are frittata bites, bacon, sweet potato, egg, spinach, salt, pepper, and a little bit of cream in there. The reason why they look so cute is because I, I cook them in a little muffin tin. This is actually a perfect breakfast because we've got the egg. So the egg is gonna provide the protein and the fat. We got our vegetable, we've got the sweet potato as the carbohydrate. Um, so we've got some really great pack full, mouthful nutrition uh, oh, to start nice. your day off. Um, so and this how is much extra protein is the wasp? <laughs> I do appreciate that you have the vegetable in here because like we can't forget that, yes, we have our macronutrients, but we also have the micronutrients and that's where vegetables play a really big role, you know, in our nutrition. They, they provide everything else that we miss out uh, in the carb, fat, and protein. When you say micronutrients, is that like vitamins, minerals? Yes. Those, all yep. of those things? Yep. Okay, awesome. Vegetables, eat your vegetables, they're good for you. Here is the second item that mm -hmm. I brought. So this is um, this is a peach lassi. And so this would be the second breakfast. Whole fat Greek yogurt, fresh peaches, grass-fed whey, protein powder, with just like a little bit of stevia. So we've got the, the yogurt, so that's packed with protein and fat. And that fat is gonna be really rich in the vitamins as well, because it's full fat. And then uh, we have the whey protein, so that's gonna be like a, a nice big punch of, of protein before we start our activity. And then the peaches are kind of like you're in between the like, like the starchy and the quick acting carbohydrate. So I think this is a great combination. We've got everything here to help us uh, really perform well. And then coach, more importantly than nutrition, more importantly than sleep, more importantly than most things, how does it taste? Yes, let's give it a go. Food always first and foremost, mm. pleasure. So how's that, yeah, how's that was, going down? This was perfect. You can't taste the whey protein actually, which is really hard. I think that's really hard to do. Like I think the whey protein sometimes makes it difficult to drink. It gets medicinally, yeah. right? Like a lot of these protein powders get a real yeah. medicinal flavor too. And really it. all I taste is like peach thick yogurt and it's fantastic. Having foods that are craveable, um, that you're psyched to eat, that you know you, you can't wait to try it. Like even if you're not feeling super hungry, it's really easy to like get those nutrients and get those calories in you because you're you're super psyched on it. I could drink more of this than I need. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when it comes to you know the the simple carbohydrates and stuff like that, I was um, going for a run through the enchantments. I got up early. I had a slice of bread with some peanut butter and some jam on there. Um, and then from there, it was just like goos and, and bars and stuff like that. And I'd get like a quick hit of energy and then I'd get moving, but I would just like bonk in like 20 minutes and then 10 minutes. And then I just couldn't, there was nothing left in the tank. I totally screwed that up. Like yeah. what would have been a more thoughtful approach? It's okay to have those goos, um, but if you're not, also having protein with it, that's when that energy is gonna be going into your body way too quick. So it's almost like the protein oh. actually does help to prolong how much energy you're getting throughout your run um, every time you're taking these goos. So start off your day really well and then have this combination of carbohydrate and protein through the day. And it's like maybe every 45 minutes to an hour. I should have brought more fitness to the run yeah. as well. <laughs> like, there's always that. It's not always just the nutrition, but I think yeah. these things would have would have really helped out. Okay, so this is a English pea hummus. And then we have some, uh, just some raw carrots going along with it. It's the peas and tahini and garlic and harissa, which is a, a Moroccan um, hot spice, but you can use sriracha or, or whatever. And then cumin, pepper, paprika, and Himalayan pink salt. I prefer to use uh, Himalayan pink salt or, you know, any sort of sea salt because depending on where that salt comes from, it has different trace minerals. Getting different types of salts in you is really, really good because that is an electrolyte. And so if there's different trace minerals in each one, you're just serving your, your body that much better. And I mean, you get to try a bunch of different salts. So for the palate, it's very exciting as well. 
How are you awesome. making this? Is this in a, also a Vitamix? You can throw everything in there all at once and just blitz it. And so what you're looking for is it should just like look like icing. This is like nice, creamy, you know, silky consistency. And then going right up against this like nice, crunchy, crunchy carrot. I know that's not a nutrition thing, but it's gotta taste good. We eat food, not nutrients. Yes, Straight. that's right. Can that's we try right. this? Yeah, please do. This is food. This is medicine right here. And literally took five minutes to make, five minutes to chop these up. Like it's super, everything that we're doing here is super, super, super easy to, to put together and it doesn't take a whole lot of time to do. Can you tell us a little bit about like what slow burning carbs are? My little chef mind immediately starts cooking the minute she's talking about these. I, I'm not thinking carb, protein, and fat, I'm thinking of it in terms of like whole ingredients and like what am I putting together and all that sort of stuff. So slow burning carbs would be your, your beans or legumes because they have a lot of fiber. So fiber is gonna slow down the digestion. Those are great for long sustaining days of activity. Uh, the starchy carbs are gonna be a little bit more faster acting such as like mm -hmm. potatoes, sweet potatoes, your rice. Um, and then we have like the simple carbohydrates, which is like your super fast carbohydrates, like certain types of fruits, like bananas, pears, you know, like those very sweet fruits. Um, the next step actually would be dried fruit. So dried fruit is gonna act even faster in, oh, wow. in your body. And then, then we've got like the sugar. They're gonna get into your bloodstream almost immediately. Like the second it touches your tongue, you're gonna get that uh, spike of energy, which we need because when you're doing these very explosive dynamic movements, you need that energy to convert so quickly in your body. Um, and that's why the simple sugars do work the best. Whether it's actually sustainable long-term, uh, you know, in terms, if we're looking over the day and then over weeks and over months, we wanna try to limit the simple carbohydrate because it does affect our overall glucose levels, which, you know, like if you've ever bonked or hit the wall, that is often like, you know, you're a problem in your system of maybe being uh, too high in, in glucose or too low in glucose. We wanna make sure we're like riding steady. I love snack. Snack. Um, okay, so for this snack, all you need is a food processor, dates, macadamia nuts, some raspberry, a little bit of honey, some sea salt, and a, a couple little seasonings. Oh, and there's banana in here too. There's banana chips in here. This is exactly what you want just before you're about to make some really, really hard moves or you're about to send your project, like maybe a couple minutes before you take a couple like small little bites and that is gonna power you up. Those dates are gonna be like the key ingredient in this. So like the, that is the pack of uh, carbohydrates that we're, we're essentially using. I, I can't get, I got it now. I, I don't know. And these like literally you can just like and nothing's gonna happen to them. Like you put them in your pocket, it's fine. Granite right there, no problem. Can you hand me, can you throw me that? Let, let's see what that looks like. This just got thrown up against some granite. We're doing a little product testing right here. <laughs> what do we got here? I mean, not, so not there you go. You can do whatever you want to these things and they're gonna, they're, they're gonna last forever. What is recovery? Don't you just like climb, you're done, and then at the end of the day, it's like cold beers and, and like hang out at the river? Like, to me, that's recovery. <laughs> Yay? Yay? <No? laughs> Dinner should be pretty big. Don't hold back. Um, and make sure that you're drinking enough. You know, if you're gonna be eating, also drink the water. And if you want, you can also uh, supplement with that electrolyte. Electrolytes are really gonna help uh, bring water into the cell um, and essentially help us not get dehydrated. So pair all of your meals with some like some water or some form of liquid that's gonna help you. And then once you're done uh, with your session, you could essentially eat immediately if you want to, wanted to, but you know, you have a couple hours to get your next big meal in. Me personally, I know I do much better if I eat right after my session and then a couple hours later, I have like an actual meal. Um, I, I think it's actually better to get that whole food, uh, like nutritious meal rather than a supplement. Can we talk about the main event now? Can yeah. we talk about dinner? Yeah. I think the wasp has been super psyched <laughs> about this one. So farro is an ancient grain, and then we have some wild caught uh, smoked sockeye salmon. We have some beautiful avocado, some beets in here, 
there's a little bit of mustard greens and a uh, Parmesan vinaigrette that has a little bit of yogurt in there. So you get that nice tang. So why this and everything in here? So the salmon, it's like really packed with protein and it's got the salt in it. Um, it's got a little um. bit of fat as well. Um, so that's gonna be really great for repairing our muscles as we're sleeping, um, as well as like providing the, the best environment uh, for our muscles to, to repair. And then we've got the farro, so that's gonna be our carbohydrate heavy um, macronutrient. And then the avocado, that's gonna be our fat, as well as gonna be a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbohydrate as well. And then, you know, I love that there's the beets and uh, the greens, is it kale? Which one uh, mustard greens? greens. Mustard but greens. But kale's great too. Yeah. yeah. So those are going to provide all of the like vitamins and minerals we need and even like the electrolytes that we need for that. Do you really want to try this? You were going to offer this up. Uh, can I have some of that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Please hit the like and subscribe if you like what you are seeing. And definitely let us know in the comments if you have any feedback. All right, we're going to eat all this delicious food now. We'll see you later. Oh, sorry, I messed that one up. That's all right. A lot of focus. That was great, though. Your performance was awesome. I'm glad I nailed my three words finally. <laughs> <laughs> nailed it! <laughs>